Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. This is the first BAM Weekly Update for 2021. It's January 8th. I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for being here. Uh, a relatively quiet start to the um, uh, year for munis in every sense, uh, both in yield activity as well as new issue pricing. Uh, let's start with the yields. Uh, what did you see on the market? Yeah, it was uh, you know relatively quiet in the uh, you know in the, in the muni specific space. I'm not sure you could say, we could say the same thing uh, for the broader market or for uh, for general news. Uh, there was certainly an abundance of headlines to keep everybody uh, entertained. Um, but uh, you know yield wise, uh, tax exempts outperformed treasuries uh, substantially. We saw taxable rates, uh, you know, 10-year U.S. Treasury sold off about 20 basis points this week. Uh, we're finishing the week around a 110 yield, maybe a little bit behind a 110. Um, and the 30-year Treasury sold off another 20, 21 basis points. That's at about a one, almost at a 187 right now. Um, you know, on, on the muni side of the aisle, we really didn't see much movement at all. Um, you know, the standard January story of, uh, of technicals between supply and demand where there's uh, a lot of coupon reinvestment, a lot of maturities and fresh cash uh, coming into mutual funds to put to work and really not a lot of supply um, to, to support that. So muni yields hardly moved at all. Uh, before uh, before today, we were about three basis points higher in yield. The 10 year MMD um, was at about 75 basis points and the 30 years at about 143. And they're talking about cuts to the scale of maybe another one to three basis points. So, you know, maybe you see another six or seven basis points in total. Um, that's some pretty good outperformance uh, for tax exempts. Uh, and the market activity reflected that uh, for the new issues that came to market, uh, which was uh, just a little under 2.9 billion. It sounded like everything did exceptionally well. Um, you know, even deals like New Jersey EDA, which priced 350 million. Uh, there were, uh, the read was there were bumps on that deal anywhere from 15 to 20 basis points in some parts of the curve. Um, so you saw things uh, really price um, very, very well in the absence of, uh, of much supply to speak of. And this is, of course, the first time we've seen new issue market activity since Congress did pass a, a limited stimulus package at the end of last year uh, after the elections, special elections in Georgia earlier this week. I think it's fair to say there's a lot of market anticipation of additional stimulus, possibly including direct aid for state and local governments. So uh, people will want to watch how that plays out uh, over the course of the year. Um, you know, significant potential policy change with Democrats taking uh, all three uh, both the, the House, the Senate, and the White House. So we'll watch how that plays out. Um, any uh, BAM insured deals stick out for you this week? Yep, uh, we had a pretty active week. Um, we insured about 135 million on the new issue side. Uh, that was led by the state of Pennsylvania where we insured almost 85 million in par, um, including 44 million for William Sports uh, Sanitary Authority, and, um, which was a competitive sale purchased by Janney uh, earlier in the week. Uh, and then on the negotiated side, uh, we ensured uh, one of the highlight deals for us was uh, about $43 million for Cathedral City RDA in California. Um, next week, uh, we should uh, probably already have about $125 million uh, that's scheduled to sell. Um, some of the highlights there are Sterling, Illinois. Uh, that's $35 million going to be priced by Bernardi Securities and uh, Harrisburg, um, Pennsylvania Community College District. Uh, is about 29 million. That's going to be priced by uh, by Janney as well. Um, so, in you know, in the face of about about uh, a six billion or so calendar, uh, which is going to be fairly concentrated, there's a couple of uh, larger deals that uh, that chew up most of that um, most of that calendar. Um, you know, we should have uh, another you know fairly quiet, but uh, but albeit active start to the uh, to the year, and then you know probably the week or so after things really start uh, start picking up again. Great. And uh, for uh, any viewers who want to uh, dive deeper into credit uh, questions, we've already started producing BAM Credit Insights videos for the uh, year. Uh, Mark Capel, Managing Vice President in San Francisco, uh, published a video on the Cathedral City transaction. And uh, Tyler Otterstadt, uh, who's uh, one of our new analysts, uh, has his first ever BAM Credit Insights video on that City of Sterling transaction uh, from Sterling, Illinois. So uh, you want to take a look at that on our YouTube page. Thanks, Brian, and uh, have a great week. Thanks, Mike. is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty.
In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption. So while America rebuilds, BAM has you covered. BAM. Build America Mutual. Talk to your investment advisor or visit buildamerica.com.